Hey everyone, Jen Tyson, Rosemary Killip. We have come to you today just because as we've been going out to you all lovely people with our resolving uh, disputes around the rules training that we're offering this year, we're hearing a lot of feedback, which is great. And we've actually had uh, you know, a number of people register and really take it up and a number of people saying they'd love this training but can't get to the, the day. So we thought we'd just come together and uh, Rosie, after being in the comp building compliance, building a fire compliance industry for so many years at, at a very high level, has got some really good insights to share around this type of training. So Rosie, you know, why did we come up with, you know, did we just pick it out of a hat or decide it was a good idea, the resolving disputes training? <laughs> good question. Well, hi everyone. Uh, as you know, we've had many debates, sometimes disagreements, and I've been a party to many training, many training events where you've conveyed usually your frustration with somebody else's interpretation of the act that doesn't fit your own. And whenever we have those situations where there's a confusion between two different worldviews of something, that's potential for conflict, disagreement and dispute. And we know the building industry is ripe with it and building compliance is even worse. So you, look, you may have some great working relationships and that's fine, but boy, when you scratch under those in-house events that I've done with you or the training gigs I've done with you or the one-on-one -on -one calls we get in down the line, I hear it all. And so I think we're in a situation where we're having really vital, important conversations about fact, about compliance, about people's safety. It's like it's high stakes conversation. And we don't often understand the rules of that. We just try and debate over the top of someone, somebody bullies someone, or they just think if I keyboard warrior email enough people that that will get them. I've seen the tribe activity where people get their mates and go, well, we all blah, 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 group of people disagree with you. So there's that kind of crazy dynamic that happens under the skim of all of this. And I think if we get some of these key principles right, we'll be in a better position to have a clearer conversation about facts, objective facts, mm. not clouded with all the heat and all the emotion and all the frustration, particularly hands up, guilty, after 20 years in business and 30 years teaching this, you do get really frustrated when you're having the same Groundhog Day one day after the other, same, same conversation, and people still don't get it. Mm, absolutely. And so, you know, I've been, as a communicator for a living, this is what I do, I've been on this journey for over 20 years in some form or other, and it's fascinating to me how when I hear, um, not just in this industry, but in, uh, in the, across the board, oh yeah, we did that training, we've done that, to ticked the box. Uh, it's fascinating to me because I know for myself, I still stuff up. I still have days where I struggle with different conversations. It's just at another level. I still have days where I need another tool in my toolkit or I dive into that toolkit more than I thought I would that day or that conversation. I still have vital conversations that's, so, you know, blindside me in, in, in conflict that comes from the left or the right and I didn't see it coming. And so if I'm still struggling that, with that and this is my skill set and my thing in the world, when people it's not their natural skill set say to me, I've done a course tick, I'm like, oh. So, you know, it's, it's not a one hit wonder. Um, getting better at these communication skills, I believe, is a journey and it's a, it's a lifelong learning and the better you get at it, uh, the easier it becomes, and um, conflict is in every workplace. So we often hear people say, we don't have any conflict. We're like, yeah, okay. So conflict is in every single workplace, but it's, the question is, is the conflict productive and healthy? Are there outcomes from that? Or is it unhealthy and making people feel awful and not wanting to be at work? So yeah, Rosie, what do you that, think about that? I think, you know, I, after all these years, even for myself, get concerned about all of us, our mental health. You know, it's not an easy industry to be in. It's not easy to tell people no every day. And it's not easy to go, you know, the council or those builders or those 
whoever's. And we tend to polarise like that. You know, architects suck, owners suck, councils suck. And we the language every day, it just it imbibes you no matter how zen you might think you are. And what I see is also, you know, just people might not identify it as conflict, but there's tension in the workplace, even amongst colleagues. Mm. You know, I've seen hardcore things i think seen things thrown at people i've seen building inspectors punched i've seen you know a, a verbal abuse like i'd never thought i'd see and it's probably come through me and come back out my own mouth you know guilty and it's like woo hold on stop the bus we all need to just take a bit of a breath back because we're all actually got the same agenda mm. we all want people to be safe i mean i don't know anyone who wakes up and goes I'm going to make sure people aren't safe in that building today, mm. you know, or I'm going to make sure those plans are drawn so that my client wastes thousands of dollars and countless hours and we frustrate the heck out of the builder, goes, what the heck, you know, are we building here? I don't know any builder who wakes up and goes, you know, I'm deliberately going to build a sucky house today. No, true but, that. But that's how we behave to each other. Yeah, we behave as if we have got a vendetta against some the building owner mm. and you know it's it's fraught it's fraught and when i see usually in a larger context it might be a council or a bigger organization doing conflict or aggressive customer training it's more it's perpetuating the problem it's their it's, problem not yeah mine. It's, that's like, right they're the a-hole not me yeah and so let's you know let's gang together over here and let's muscle up so that we can confront these bad people yeah wow what a paradigm and aggressive so, customer training by default is a negative it's an oxymoron it's it's, it's, it. fantastic. it's fantastic so you know we are so we don't do a cookie cutter approach um this is something that um i do but i'm doing it with you know building networks with rosie and so you know both our input is in there and uh, both our years of experience which is about 50 between us which is kind of cool um so we cover default communication style yours and others managing your emotions under stress and yours and others um types of conflict you'll encounter and how to deal with those better and how to have those vital conversations in a healthier way and robust debates with better outcomes um, we know not all of you can get to our live public course in wellington and um auckland but we absolutely are open and have done for other councils and other people run this as an in-house um very bespoke it can even be addressing particular issues you feel you've got we can talk to you about your needs and we also offer between the two of us both of us are in this space a coaching service so if there's someone in your organization or you are really struggling but you don't want to go to a course or you know it's a bit more personal we're absolutely happy to coach you on a one-on-one -on -one basis through some of these skill sets so we'd love to hear from you if you've got more questions um, and you want to find out more about what we cover in this course we'd love you to get in touch any final words rosie look just everyone we are on the same team if we learn to communicate better the things that are passionately important to us and the rules that are there for a reason we'll all have a happier day at work and isn't that a good thing <laughs>